So after much brainstorming, sweat, and tears, I have finally come up with a functional water faucet for Minecraft. Here it is, and it's controlled by this lever. Turn it on. And there is considerable lag. It takes about 8 to 10 seconds for the control to go through. But, you know, seeing as this is the first non-glitch oriented running water system in Minecraft I've seen, I don't think you can really complain. <laughs> You can hear the TNT that's involved in the background there. And the way I have it set up right now, you can turn the water on and off ten times for a total of twenty controls uh, before having to refill it. And refilling it takes me about a minute and twenty seconds or so, which I think is pretty fair. Alright, I'll show you how it works. So here I am on top of the water faucet room, and here we have our apparatus. There are two halves of it. There's the turn the water on half and the turn the water off half. And both of them control access to this block of water here. Um, what happens is this block of sand is either removed, which allows the water to flow into the faucet, or blocked, which stops it. And both removing and placing sand blocks is done through the use of TNT. So the first, which is removing sand blocks, happens up inside of this hole here. You can see far up there, I know it's foggy because my computer sucks, but there's TNT and there's a bunch of torches. So basically, the next TNT in line is lit up, falls straight down into this little hole here, and this hole leads out to that sand, and it blows the sand out. It doesn't damage anything else. And the real secret here is the redstone, which, at the push of the lever, whenever the power turns on, will give a short pulse, which activates the next torch in line. And that's what took me the longest to figure out, because I'm sure other people have used TNT before. But this allows you to have a stack of TNT that you can access one at a time, and thereby send in up to ten controls. I mean, I'm sure you can do more. The only limit is uh, if the TNT explodes while it's in transit to the bottom, that would be bad. So I guess there's a height limit there. And on this side, we have a similar idea where we have a row of TNT which is activated from the bottom up and right above this block there is a series of sand blocks with torches underneath them and the TNT explodes over here which is several blocks away and the power of the TNT at this distance is such that it only damages those torches so it blows the torch out and the sand falls and each time either the sand is blown out or when you turn off the lever signal is sent over here and a new sand falls and that way you have controllable water up to ten times. I'll use up the rest of them so I can show you how I refill it. So once you've used up all the TNT torches and sand in the system, you have to reset the redstone wiring, which you do by briefly turning off and on these two torches. It's a total mess out here because I was pretty excited when it finally started working, so I didn't really bother cleaning it up. <laughs> but here we go. And this basically resets it so that uh, all of the torches are off, allowing you to then refill the thing and you can refill it. I have a little set of obsidian stairs here so they don't blow up every time I use the system. Just by filling up TNT up here. And here I'm inside the chute where the torches get blown out. You can just put torches down as you go and then put sand in between them. I'm on a ladder by the way. Didn't figure that out. <laughs> and up here we have our other TNT chute for turning the water on, which you just fill up like this. And these half blocks prevent the TNT from falling off the target because they do tend to jump a little bit when they get activated. And you want them to fall right in that hole for it to work. So that's pretty much the system. Um, it's pretty ridiculously huge. But I think you could probably make it a bit smaller if you put more effort into making it uh, more efficient, <laughs> which I didn't bother doing because I was so excited. But uh, there you have it. Let me know what you think.